Hey, my name is Portia Shepard, and I am submitting my intro video. I am a native of the Black Belt of Alabama, born and raised, high school dropout, uh, who later on went and got my master's degree, and currently I am running an organization as crazy as it seems. I've quit my teaching job, and I'm full throttle inside of this business, and I'm excited to see what it entails. Um, tell us uh, your story of self through an intergenerational lens. Uh, I am the type of person that love to talk. As I just said, I'm a teacher, taught ninth grade. So you're talking about teaching ninth grade and not just sitting up there pointing your finger, you must do this, you must do that. Actually interacting them and learning why they like this particular type of music and going in details with them and, and, and not talking at them, but talking to them. And from there, you get different, different responses, including uh, learning how to communicate with the young people that you uh, that, that respects you and in return you respect them. Um, and so from an intergenerational lens, I see myself uh, as someone who can talk to the young as well as the old. And I'm doing that in the environmental work with Mr. Benjamin Eden, who is a fighter for environmental justice. Um, one of the things, he's an older gentleman, he's been in a fight a long time and I'll never forget a call. I'll never forget a call we were on, and he was so frustrated with what was happening. He, he was the way he said, I was tired. And at that moment, I knew that it was time for me to do something about it and step in a little bit more to help because the fight has to continue. But we have to make sure that we have the right people uh, in place. And so that's, that's one of the ways that I can see it. And what motivates me to bring generations together is the fact that we see what that does. You know, we're new, you know, we're fairly new to the fight. He's been in since the beginning without our elders, without our pioneers, without the people that have gone before us, how will we be able to know what worked and what didn't work and look at what didn't work a little bit different and be able to pull from that and maybe not try it with this little taste, uh, this flavor in it, take that flavor out and put some something different in it so it can work. And so had we not, had, if, if we were so stuck on, we were right. How will we be able to, in, you know, include the older generation and who I consider to be the pioneers in this fight for justice. And because we connected the old with the new, we're able to come in in a different way and we're seeing the results of it because we've gotten farther than, you know, there's his words, not mine, that I've, we've gotten farther than they did in the 10 years that they have been fighting this good fight. Uh, how does your work use the assets of older and younger people for mutual benefit? I think I just explained that. And why is the work you're doing so important? Because it helps the people that I love, including family and friends. And without it, and without it, and without it, we would not see the justice that this community so desperately deserves. Thank you.